Hello, and welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley, and today we're going to continue our little series at this time, learning vocabulary about practical, everyday jobs and chores, things we have to do. Um, yesterday we talked about shopping. Tomorrow we'll talk about household jobs. Today we're going to talk about banking and uh, words and actions we do when we go to the bank. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you again. I'm not good. You're not good? Yes. What's the matter? I couldn't to sleep so much yesterday. I'm sorry? I couldn't sleep oh. yesterday too much. Only two or three hours. Me too. I, I had problems sleeping last night too. <laughs> I did. Yeah, yesterday I met a strange person. Uh, you did. Yeah, I was walking down the street, uh, getting back from the coffee shop. Um, on the uh, sidewalk, another person, man, came from uh, opposite side. So I wanted to share the street. It looked quite narrow. Then I uh, went to the edge of the street, then my right is uh, just the wall. I couldn't move from that place. He came to just in front of me and stopped. He he was quiet and looking at me quietly. We were looking to each other for a while. And his eyes had no expression of feeling. That <laughs> Like a dead person or something. And his mouth and the nose were covered by masks. Mask. Oh my goodness. Uh, his age is uh, maybe from 50 to 60. Hmm. And then suddenly I, I got scared, so I screamed and I ran, ran away. Then after that, uh, I went to the bed and um, at midnight. But I remembered, so I couldn't sleep. Ooh, creepy. Yeah. Okay, that's an excellent story to illustrate the English word creepy. Creepy. <laughs> that was creepy. Creepy experience. Creepy guy. Creepy. Okay. Ooh. Ugh. Give me a shiver up my spine. That's freaky. All right. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, hi, Max. How are you? Welcome. Hello, okay. Hello, Friday. I'm fine. How are you? Okay. How are you today? Fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Well, then, fine. Uh, okay, today. Uh, all right. Banking vocabulary. All right. So you can talk to your banker, or if you're traveling to an English-speaking country, you can do some banking if you have to. Uh, all right. First of all, we're going to look at some very basic vocabulary we might use when banking. Very pretty simple, straightforward, borrow, uh, overdrawn, debts, account, cash point, okay, things of that nature. We are going to uh, do some simple fill-in-the-blank exercises with these basic banking or money terms. Uh, started. Heidi, uh, number one. Uh, I haven't got any money with me. I need to go to the bank. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got any money. Any. <laughs> right. Uh, <coughs> of course, money would work fine here, and this is very normal. Uh, uh, no debt, no check, uh, internet, no overdraft, account, cash point. No. 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 No cash point. Not cash point, but close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another. We often say instead of money, we just say cash. Ah, uh, cash. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> sure. I haven't got any cash with me. So, <laughs> oh, cash. Know, yeah, sure. Normal money. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. I, sure. I, Very common. I skipped a bit too hard. <laughs> okay, all right. I have said this sentence, I don't know, about once a week for the last 30 years. Uh, very normal sentence. And uh, if you live in a place where they, you need cash for some things. Uh, usually, uh, normal, I use uh, not cash. You know. I don't like going to the bank. So I always have a very small amount of money. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, I need to have cash here. Because, you know, I live in the Philippines. Right? Yeah, Philippines are um, very small. Not so many uh, places we can use. We can use. Well, you know, I could probably exist just using my, not I don't use credit card, but a, a debit card. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I could probably exist without it, but the, it's very strange here. The fact is the places that take debit cards are generally... I, I would guesstimate 10 to 20 percent more expensive for everything. Yeah. I mean, everything, uh, soda, uh, anything, just normal everyday things. Because, you know, here they have little tiny stores called sor Sorry Sorry stores in every neighborhood, and they, I don't even know how they exist. They don't exist, really. They're more like a hobby because they're markup from, they go to, like a wholesale or the, a supermarket place, and then their markup is only tiny, five percent or less. <laughs> I, but anyway, it's cheaper uh, yeah, than going. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's cheaper to pay cash. All right, Max, number two. My salary is paid straight into my. Account, maybe, I'm not sure. At the mm -hmm. end of the month. Yeah, sure. At the end anyway. of every month. month. Sure. Month. Yeah, that's it. Uh, account or bank account. Right. Uh, uh, Max, is that normal uh, in your country to have your pay direct deposited? Which, by the way, is what we call it. I'd, I'd probably say uh, lots of variety of <laughs> possible ways to do that. Really? I mean, yeah, I, uh, some company um, pay twice, twice in a month, some oh, one yeah. month, once in a month. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I mean... Some company just buy cash. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's my question. Yeah, how do they pay in cash, by check, or direct deposit? Uh, yeah, I think it's. In, in Russian, we have some kind of. In Russian, we have some kind of. It's. Um, uh, how can can I say that? Problem, Russian problem. We have two. Uh, two salary. White and black. White, it's <laughs> like official, mm. and black, it's like without uh, um, taxes. <laughs> Pay taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I could have guessed that. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Here and in, in the Philippines, direct deposit payment. So they don't give you an option. Actually, most places you work, you, you, that's it. If you want your money, you have to get a bank account in their bank and then they will direct deposit. Uh, Heidi, number three. If we want to buy a new car, uh, why? And why? No Vietnam. Or from the bank. Borrow. Borrow? Well, no. You get a... Loan. 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 Yeah. Uh, here it has to be a noun. A. Uh -huh. Okay. There is no noun form of borrow, a borrow. Uh, there's no such thing, but loan can be a verb or a noun. Borrow is only a verb. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it has to be a loan. Oh, yeah, I can't. Why not get a loan from the bank? I know a reason. <laughs> because they charge you ridiculous interest rates. Um, okay. Anyway. Yeah. In, in U.S., 
in the United States, the interest of bank is usually more lower than in Russia. Is it? In Russia, well, I know, I know yeah, it is in now. <laughs> <laughs> In now. Russia, it's about thirty yep. percent. Oh my god! <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like criminal. Uh, yeah, it's government criminal. You should deposit the money. Uh, then you can learn. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Uh, of course, interest works both ways. You get a loan, and then you have to pay extra money, right? In interest, and supposedly, if you open a savings account. You can earn interest. You earn money, but I'm sure they're not giving 30% on savings accounts. <laughs> Japan interest is almost zero. So if you yeah. have okay. deposit of one thousand dollars, yeah, one year later you can receive only coffee for a fee. <laughs> Cup of coffee. <laughs> Cup of coffee. It's like yeah. It's like catch 22. I mean. Uh, our uh, manufacturing cannot take money from bank because uh, it's uh, the interest is so high right yeah and the government doesn't do anything to yeah. improve it it's uh, I, I don't know why no 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 of course i know why but uh. why then the bank why what, Heidi? Why uh, the bank is dangerous? Dangerous? Why? <laughs> who, who are you asking? <laughs> to, to keep to keep your money in Russian bank, yeah. it's so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, well, first of all, banks can fail. Uh, it depends. You know, it's different. Most countries, I, Russia included, I know, I happen to know from talking to another Russian friend, because his bank in Russia just failed, and it took forever, but the government eventually paid him, but the, there's a huge problem, and correct me, maybe I'm misinformed, but Max can correct me if I'm wrong, personal accounts are insured up to a certain amount. Just like in America. America used to be up to $100,000. Now it's like $250,000. If you just have your money in a savings account, even if the bank goes out of business, the government will pay you. It's insured by the government, by the federal government. In Japan, yeah, but, if okay. bank oh, was, went bankrupt, there uh, we, uh, we were guaranteed, we would be guaranteed um, $10,000. Yeah, in America it's up to $250. Yeah, <laughs> okay. it's a lot. Um, but, now this is the part where it gets sticky, and Max can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I was told, I've been informed, that personal accounts have that that guarantee or that, that insurance. But company, uh, company savings account do not have that insurance. They are not insured at all. I'm They're not familiar with it. Actually. You don't know? I don't know. I, yeah. I, but uh, the but, but, uh, amount of money uh, which which would be um, guarantee? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't think I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> You're going to make up a number? You could. Uh, we yeah. would call for it. Uh, yeah, but uh, what is the interest you get on a savings account? Heidi said in Japan it's very tiny. Here yeah. in the Philippines it's 0.05%. It's also very tiny. It's also uh, quite high, but it doesn't... It's Change anything? It's about uh, I'm not sure twelve percent. Wow! Very good. Uh, but yeah, but why you don't save your money in Russian banks? Because go on. <laughs> go on. <laughs> is, is it because you're saving your money in rubles and the rubles are dropping? So yeah, the value yeah. of your money is becoming less. 
So you may get 12%, but if the inflation rate is 20%, you've just lost 8%. Yes. But maybe in the future it will go up. That's, then you would be, that's, yeah, you're absolutely right. You could take that chance. Yeah, because your country has a lot of oil. Yeah, well, that I bet you somebody's going to get rich doing exactly that eventually, but eventually is when. <laughs> That's the tricky part. As with all, in investing in money, it's all about when. It's all about timing. Uh, okay, so the last one. Wait a minute. Let's just review. Heidi's was, if you want to buy an cure, why not get a loan from the bank? Okay. Max number four. Interest rates are very low rates. Why don't you the money from borrow? Why don't you borrow the money from the bank? Or, or how about steal? <laughs> 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 no, you're absolutely right. So there's use of borrow. I just wanted to point out. Uh, okay. Why don't you borrow the money from the bank or get a loan from the bank? There's two ways to say exactly the same thing in these last two sentences. Uh, okay. Very good. Heidi, number five. Heidi, are you there? I'm sorry. I was okay. talking by myself. I'll have to stop spending so much money. I'm already. Oh, no, no, we're here. Number five. Ah, I'm going to bank to pay in this yeah. check. No? Uh, I don't know. Uh, That's a weird one. Because pay... In uh, Pay in this. I'm confused. I'm confused by this British. I can't already finish. Yeah, I know. I pay in this account, right? Or pay in this loan? Exactly. The two that I was looking at that make sense to me. Uh, and we've already used them. You're absolutely right. Pay in this debt. What's confusing me is um, an American would never say pay in. We, we just say oh. pay. Oh, debt is uh, my money. <laughs> debt, uh, debt is something you owe. So uh, it's possible because nowadays, for example, I can pay my electric bill at the bank. I can pay my water bill at the bank. It may be possible. Oh. I'm not sure. It's weird to me. A couple of things are weird about this. Uh, it could be pay this because overdraft. Because the British... <laughs> It's British. It could be this overdraft. I spent too much money. I overspent, and now I have to pay back the bank. It could be overdraft as well. Again, Americans don't say pay in. We just say pay um, or make a payment. We, we would never say pay in. Uh, max, about number six. I oh, have to stop. Go ahead. What? Sorry. I'll have to stop spending so much money. I'm already uh, I think it's down the drain. Over. What's <laughs> 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 uh, that? Overdrawn. Overdrawn. Oh, overdrawn. Oh. Yeah, that that fits. That fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm I am overdrawn to be overdrawn. Uh, Oh, okay. He spent too much money. Uh -huh. I could, I don't know. Um, of course, now with debit cards and the way people manage their money, it's not that big a deal. But when I was younger, you had to add and subtract and keep account, keep track of your bank account, and you wrote checks, paper checks, and it was some people would become overdrawn because they couldn't keep track of what they were writing checks for. Personally, I basically I don't think I was ever overdrawn in my entire life. I don't really understand, but many people would be, and the bank would penalize you with a special penalty payment. 
whenever you are overdrawn. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, penalty. Pay a penalty when the bank makes you pay extra money for doing something stupid. You're paying a penalty. Uh, number seven, Heidi. Mm -hmm. If you you are prepared to take more risk, you'll get higher cash point. No, on your investment. No. Uh, you'll get higher. Where is it? Ah, interest. Okay, I found interest. Yeah, I don't really like that though um, myself. You'll get high. Um, the I common agree. phrase. I would use you get higher return on your investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're right. It is interest here. It has to be. This has to be the correct answer. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a little different for American. Again, I don't know. But w the higher return on your investment is an extremely common uh, co-location. It's what we're all looking for. We're all looking to make more money, so you want a higher return. That's money back, your investment that you're paying in. So, okay. Anyway, uh, Max, number eight. Uh, Tom's got qu quit. If you, he's borrowed money from the bank and several of his friends. Yeah. So. Quit and uh, he's got quite a few, quite. Ah, uh, quite, quite a few. Uh, cash point. I'm. I don't know. Check. No. <laughs> no. Overdraft. <laughs> no. <laughs> he he owes a lot of money, so he has many. Owes a lot of money, which means he has many. No debts. Debts, debts. of course. Debts are countable. Mm -hmm. uh, now, debts is a weird word. It can be countable. He has a lot of debts. I can use accountable because it said his friends, the bank, or I can say uh, he has too much debt. And when I talk about it, generally, debt is uncountable. Now, he, here you go. Uh, the one you guys keep guessing. Heidi, <laughs> number nine. I need some cash. Is there? Yeah, here. Uh, cash point. There you go. Uh, I would say an ATM. Simple. <laughs> is there an ATM nearby? Okay. British sometimes call it a cash point, but uh, Americans... Never do it first. Is there any time connect uh, bank? Sorry? Uh, the machine, ATM, uh, yeah. is connecting on uh, the bank, right? Yeah, or even a series of banks, often. How do you call um, uh, when I withdraw money from my um, credit card? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, in foreign countries, there are many that right. kind of machine uh, only uh, with those sure. um, credit card, any credit card company. Yeah, right. And it has like a logo, Visa, Master Charge, whatever, on an yeah. ATM. Mm -hmm. um, cash advance. You're getting a cash advance. Even cash though, advance. yeah, mm -hmm. uh, cash advance on your credit card, which means you're going to obviously have to pay interest. Mm -hmm. That took me a minute to think of it, but yes, there's terminology for that. Uh, Max, how about number 10? I'm spending too much money. I've already got an enormous overdraft. There you go. So what does that it's leave? What was the weird one that we couldn't figure out? Check. Check. I'm going to the bank to pay in this check. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Okay. Totally don't understand that. I don't no. get that. For me, a check is that tiny piece of paper. Not not tiny, but small rectangular piece of paper. You write in the amount, you sign your name, and it then it gets deducted. Uh, maybe if I, I use a check, then after that I put money in my account. Maybe. In 
In Russian, yeah, check. Yeah. In Russian, check is a, a receipt. Receipt. Oh, I've heard that before, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah, I have heard that before. Yeah. Okay. Um, and sometimes, if you're writing a check, you can post date a check. So today's what is today? Twenty fourth. I can write a check for the twenty eighth, which means whoever I'm writing the check to can't actually cash it. They can't get money until the twenty eighth. That gives me time to make a deposit before the check gets cashed. Mm -hmm. So you you used to play timing games like that with the dates. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So here here we go with a cash point. Uh, an ATM in American English. In formal British English, it is called a hole in the wall. <laughs> I, okay. Now that I did not know that, I need to go to a hole in the wall. Um, in American slang, a, a hole in the wall probably would refer to a small bar <laughs> that was kind of seedy and dirty. Uh, okay. If you go abroad, when you go abroad, uh, you're going to probably change your money, uh, no doubt. Um, American dollars and cents. Uh, all right, the exchange rate is how many of one uh, type of money or currency you get for another. Uh, where are these uh, different currencies used? Heidi? You can take, there's only two of you, you can take the first three. Uh -huh. that, uh, the ruble, the N, the rupee. All right, so where's the ruble? Uh, Max place. <laughs> yeah, Max's house. In, in yeah. the toilet. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, the yen. Japan, a rupee, yeah. India. India, okay. I've, I've never even seen a rupee. I don't even know what one looks like. All right, Max, you get four, five, six. Uh, the real, real, I'm not sure. The euro, real, yeah. e euro, and mm -hmm. the peso, peso. Mm -hmm. Real, uh, maybe Brazil, I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe Spain. Good. Yeah. Uh, euro, it's like euros. Um, You Europe. <laughs> Europe, yeah, but Euro Euro Soyuz. Euro uh, the Eurozone. Never, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind. The peso Eurasian is, Union. Uh, yeah. Okay. The peso it's maybe Mexico. Uh, okay. Cuba. Many countries. Yeah, yeah. Real is Brazil, that's right. Peso, um, Spain, Mexico. Spain already finished. Euro now. Oh yeah, that's right. It used to be peso. That, yeah, that's right. But uh, Philippines, we yeah. have peso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, but there's quite a few countries that still. And other small country, right? Yeah. There's, there's a bunch. Uh, really. Latin, Latin America. Yeah, that's right. I don't know Argentina, Uruguay. Who, who, I don't remember. Peru. Honduras. I don't know. Peru. <laughs> Peru, maybe, yeah. There's a whole bunch of countries that have pesos. Uh, okay. Borrowing money from the bank. Hooray. Uh, all right. Complete. The, we're going to look at dialogues using some of the same words that we just looked at to see how they're used in practical use. So, uh, okay, in a dialogue setting. Um, so, Heidi, I'm glad it's nearly the end of the month. I've got absolutely no money left. I know what you mean. I don't get paid for another week, and I'm already, I'm already what? I'm already. <laughs> yeah, no money. <laughs> Poor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can think of better oh, words. Okay, over a drum. I, I'm already broke. I'm not, I was just going to say that. I'm broke is very common. Italian said green. Verde. Verde. Sono green? Verde. Really? Yeah, green. Yeah. No money. Sono verde. 
Really? That's so funny. You know, green in the uh, Philippines means dirty. If you're green-minded, you're dirty-minded. You mm -hmm. just think about sex all the time. <laughs> funny. Uh, here's what uh, your typical American. Uh, I might say I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's not a good thing, <laughs> by the way. Uh, obviously not, but okay. Uh, overdrawn. Overdrawn. Yeah, that's it. Okay, Max, you're working long hours at the moment. Are you saving up for something? No, nothing so exciting. I'm trying to pay off there uh, on my Barclays mortgage, maybe, maybe. Barclays, uh, Barclays is a bank, of course. Uh, loan, probably loan. Pay off the loan. The you pay loan. off the loan. Yeah, probably pay off the loan uh, on my Barclays account. Oh, speaking of banks, HSBC, what about that? How would you like, glad I don't have my money in that bank. They're a very big bank here in the Philippines and in all kinds of problems every day in the news. Okay, anyway. Heidi, I'm sure the bank would lend you the money if you really need it. No, I don't want to do that. I already owe on my father. Three hundred pounds. I really don't want to get a fa father into into uh, into debt. Yeah, further into debt. Another common collocation. Uh, instead of saying more into debt, I, I don't know. It's much more natural and normal to say further into debt. Mm. Uh, Okay, uh, Max, I hear you're thinking of starting up your own business. How are you going to get the money? No problem. I've already applied to the bank for applied to the bank for. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe the first one was mortgage. <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> loan. Probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's probably paying off his mortgage at Barclays. That's it. Either one, pay off a loan, pay off your mortgage. Uh, okay, sure. Mortgage, of course, is the loan you get specifically for a house or real estate. It doesn't have to be a house. It could be land. It could be buying a factory, whatever. Uh, okay. Heidi number five, if you really want a new car, why why don't you borrow some money from the bank? I don't really want to do that. You have to pay so, so much in, uh, in uh, um, mortgage? No. Overdraft. Overdraft. No. Uh, interest. Interest, of course. You have to pay so much in interest. Um, of course, the you know you borrow whatever ten thousand. The ten thousand is the principal. Principal, principal. I always misspell this. Principal, principal, principal. <laughs> Sorry, I have. I uh, also have issues with principal, principal. All these words that sound exactly the same, it gets confusing. Uh, anyway, the actual amount is the principal, and then the extra amount is the, is the interest. I got 30%. <laughs> Max, it's just, I, thinking about loans and interest, I think that's crazy. They're in 30% is nuts. That can't be right. <laughs> we have but, uh, anyway a lot of people got and that get uh, the loan. <laughs> yeah, all right. No, because I was just thinking about it as I was explaining about principal and interest. We have a 
like an underground black market lending system, which poor people use because they don't, they just don't have, they don't have, they don't have, cult, well, it would be mafia except it's all Indian guys <laughs> riding around on scooters, really. But anyway, as it's called 5-6. Everybody knows what it is, 5-6. You borrow 10000 you pay back 12000 It's very simple. And most people pay it back uh, like 50 pesos a day or something. They just pay back on a at daily basis. Uh, it's a very normal kind of thing because people have no collateral. That is, they don't own anything that they can. Uh, collateral is if you tell the bank, okay, here's my house. I want to borrow 10000 I'll put up my house as collateral. If I can't pay the debt, then you can take my house. That's collateral. Collateral can be stocks and bonds, could be a house, could be your car, anything that's worth money. The, the Gold. Mortgage. Um, collateral is what you use as like insurance. It's your insurance to the bank. So mm -hmm. if you sign legal documents, if I don't pay you this money, you can take my car or you can take um, my house or, or whatever, my stocks whatever it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, Filipinos have no collateral to speak of, so they can't get a loan from the bank, plus they don't have a regular job or they don't make enough money in their job, so they they get what's called five, six loans. And, and yeah, it's very normal here. And But think about it, Max, that's, that's a 20% interest rate. So that would be a good deal in Russia. <laughs> Everybody thinks of it as being like such a ripoff here, but yeah. you pay regularly. There's no increased uh, interest either. It's just a flat twenty percent. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Mortgage is a loan, but used to buy a flat or a house, property, any any property actually. Mm -hmm. um, if your account is in the black. Uh, Heidi, what does that mean? Yakuza. <laughs> in the black. Is it actually in the black or in the red? Yeah, in the black is good. This is oh, a weird. Oh. Red yeah, is bad. Red is bad. In the red, you're you're, you're owe money. You're not mm -hmm. making money. If you're in the black, you're making money. Um, it's a weird thing because, of course, in English, black usually almost always has the connotation of bad, negative, black, evil. But not when it comes to money. Black is good. Uh, okay. <laughs> At the cash point. Well, this is kind of silly, but let's try it out. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, my gosh. I just have to say, I just... All right, I, I love the Philippines. I love Filipinos, but sometimes this is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen in my life. You people with a cell phone—they're so good at cell phones. They can—you can hand them a cell phone they've never seen before, never seen that brand. They can figure out how to unlock it, how to send messages, how to do any kind of functionality, send money in seconds. However, you take a Filipino to a cash machine, they don't know what to do. It's the weirdest thing because they all get paid, as I said, by direct deposit. But I've never seen people that take so much time just to, like, take cash out. It takes them, like, 10 minutes. I, I get so sick of waiting in line for people at cash machines. I just don't understand it. So for all my Filipino friends, here's the procedure. Here's what you do. Uh, okay, Max, first. <laughs> Uh, maybe insert your card. Uh, okay. Insert your card. Very good. <laughs> then <laughs> Heidi, <laughs> what are you, what are you gonna have to do next? Or another machine. Insert your card. Well, usually you got to insert your card first before anything happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And and then what? 
And then what's next? Press the withdraw cash button. No. 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 Ah, oh, look at pin number. Pin number. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Pin number, and then Max. Uh, F. The press the withdraw cash button. Mm, uh, no, you have to no. know how much cash you're taking. Choose the amount of money you want. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then Heidi. Oh. Well, as Heidi. Yeah. Okay. After you choose the amount of money, man, mm -hmm. you want. Then? Then a press with your cash button. Yeah, thank you. And then Max? I think first you have take your card. After that, you take your cash. <laughs> but uh, sometimes it's backwards. But yeah. uh, it depends on the machine. Yeah, some, uh, some machines yeah, give you your machine. card back. It's at, some machines give you your card back right after you put in your PIN number. So. Yeah. Depends when it decides to give you your card. Uh, Max, have you ever had your card eaten by the machine? Hello? Have you ever had your card eaten by the machine? Uh, never. <laughs> You're lucky. Um, Good my, um, yeah. Heidi, have you ever had your card Taken? Yeah. No, the machine is getting much better. Yeah. Uh, happened to me, but my own fault. A, a dirty, old, old car just had been through the ringer. I think it had a crack in it, even. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. That was back in the States, back with a uh, just a really overused card. And that was at the actual bank where the car long to so it wasn't that big a deal uh, all right you can also uh, use a cash point or ATM for other services all right uh, Heidi huh? can you uh, if you just want to know how much money you have in your account or oh, you can check your uh -huh, transaction statement balance of course, check your balance. That's uh, yeah. You can also order um, statement. Mhm. Mm That's right. Which your bank will send over, uh, uh, send out to your within a, a few days, and uh, which shows all the transactions you have made. Right. That's it. So you can check your balance and it'll show you basically how much money is in your account and that's it. But a statement is a documented uh, a documented written uh, balance with all the specific information. Each transaction, deposits and withdrawals. Deposit, put money in, withdrawals, take money out. Uh, okay. Let's look at some co-locations with verbs uh, at the bank. So I think Max had to go. I'd like to open a new account. Sure. Obviously. I'd like to pay. Let's um, um, check into my account. I did check into my account. Mm. Uh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I'd like to pay um, this traveler check. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Uh, 200 pounds from my. Ah, I get it. Account. From uh, no, I get it. I get it. It's confusing. Mm -hmm. I'd like to pay 300 pounds, please. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think that's it. Because I, looking at it's very confusing until you read the other ones. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes obvious. 
Sure. Uh, it's not enough information. 300 pounds for what? 300 mm -hmm. pounds towards what? A mortgage, a loan, a bill? Uh, you don't know. We go 300 pounds. No. Uh, I'd like to withdraw. Oh, yeah. You're, oh, you're right. No, you're right. I'd like to withdraw 300 pounds. Okay. I'd like to transfer... Transfer this check into my account. I know. That would definitely be 200 pounds from... Uh -huh. Your transfer from one account to another. Mm -hmm. From my current to my savings. So that's got to be that. Uh, I'd like to cash. Cash. Uh, these travelers' checks. Got to be right. I'd like to withdraw three hundred pounds. So I guess uh, I'd like to pay. Uh, oh, pay this check into my account. All right. I guess Americans would say I'd like to cash this check and deposit the money into my account. We would actually explain the whole thing. We can't say pay it into my account. Um, yeah. Hmm. Strange, but uh, okay. Very British, I guess. Uh, terminologies are slightly different. Uh, okay, let's talk about using an account. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, complete the sentences with these words. If you pay money into your account, you make. Uh -huh. Ah, this is why hey. I get confused. There you go. Okay. Americans, there you go. That's what was confusing me like twice during the lesson. <laughs> Americans don't use that, we make a deposit. Mm -hmm. We would. I, I, that's unknown to me. A pay in. Pay. Uh, as a noun. Look at that. It's a, like a phrasal verb used as a noun. This is why I was getting confused. As an American, we would. That doesn't exist. So it's just a deposit. Why don't they use the word deposit? <laughs> I don't get it. Okay. Anyway. If number two. You take money out of your account, you make withdrawal. No. Of course. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. If you need to pay a bill, you can. Um, ah. Right. Right. Okay. Now right. that I write a check. All right. If you have to make, uh, pay money to the same person or a company on a regular, regular basis, you can pay by. Uh, direct to de debt mm -hmm. or, yes. or buy what electronic? <laughs> uh, no, although direct deposit okay. is electronic. But standing order. Standing order. What does it mean, standing order? Yeah, that's. I don't even know if they do that anymore, honestly. Mm -hmm. But it's basically an agreement you have with a bank to pay, like, you give a standing order, you sign documents, your bank is going to pay your electric bill automatically for you. It's like a service the bank provides. They don't provide it here in the Philippines. <laughs> it was possible in America. I, I don't know. Now they just do it electronically through mm -hmm. direct debit. So you can do that. You can set up a direct debit where it's all done automatically. That, that's possible. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, okay. Some people never need to visit their bank. They use an electronic banking service. They can check their account and make payments using the internet. Okay. Or online banking. Uh, that's right. Yeah, that's what I say too. Online banking, online banking or electronic banking, I guess, are both pretty much equally used. I don't uh, use online banking. It's dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually agree with you. Um, I don't really trust it. Uh, I've had a couple problems before. Not that they didn't get straightened out, not that anybody was stealing my money or anything terrible happened, but it was a, just a big hassle. 
I don't really, I don't really trust it. Yeah, if you uh, download some free uh, uh, music or something, uh, then mm. they send some virus to your computer. Virus uh, work inside of your computer. They send you your um, private uh, information. After that, the virus disappeared. <laughs> Then your uh, mind disappeared. <laughs> really? Yeah, it happened many times in Japan. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just old. You know, young people completely and implicitly trust everything online. I do not trust anything. <laughs> That's just me. Uh, okay, bank accounts and bank cards is a little bit confusing. Um. Max is back. Hi, Max. Yeah. Uh, hello again. <laughs> what kind of account can you have? What co-locates with account? Okay. Mm. Credit account. Yeah. Deposit okay. account. Maybe. No. Not credit account. <laughs> no. No. Uh, savings. Savings. Yes. Yeah. Savings account. account. Mm-hmm. It's like when you put your money and you uh, not be interest. able. To, yeah, you're not mm, be able to get it back until uh, sometime. Uh, it depends on what kind of account. As a savings account, I can put money in or take money in out whenever I want. But obviously, it's only earning interest when the money's in there. And then, okay. um, they do have different. They have something in the United States called a Christmas card. Christmas card account. Christmas. Christmas account. I don't know. And they do. <laughs> this may sound crazy, but you put money in. You have to put. Um, you have to put a certain amount of money in. Whatever, a hundred, two hundred dollars every month. Um, and then you you can't get the money back until Christmas. So you can blow all your money on Christmas presents all at once. <laughs> Christmas Club, that's what it's called. A Christmas uh, Club savings account. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, also. Maybe also cash? <laughs> no. No, current. Current, yes. Very British. Americans don't say current account. What does it mean? Uh current account is basically like a regular bank account where you probably have a, a debit card or a Just cash account. card. Yeah, <laughs> regular account. Call it current yeah. account. Uh, we call it, it used to be called a checking account, okay, or current account. That was a regular account. You don't earn interest, but and they charge you small amounts of money for service fees. All right. N now we don't even call it a checking account. Let's call it a, um, a debit card okay. account. And also joint, we have joint, joint account. Yeah. Uh, what is a joint account? I don't know. Uh, it's an account. Actually, jumping forward. <laughs> Here you go. An account shared by two or more people is a joint account. All right, like a husband and wife, if you together have a bank account, you have a joint account. So that leaves uh, Heidi. What co-locates with cards? Credit card. Of course. Cash card. Cash card. Uh, all right. Um, okay. Um, how, how do you call uh, the account? And uh, it kind of contract. Uh, I I put money for uh, three years. And uh, the, mm. the interest is a little higher than uh, current. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it could be. Well, on the extreme end, there's the 401k, in which case you don't get your money back till you retire, so it's longer than three years. Um, what is that? What is that called? Different banks have different deals. You know, they can create different. Uh, different interest rates for different savings. 
here in the Philippines, they have such accounts, and they're, every bank calls it a different name. I don't know if there is a standardized mm -hmm. name, you know, enhanced savings account, enhanced interest account. I don't know. Those are just a couple of the names I've heard them called before. Here, there's a huge difference. If you have an account of a hundred thousand pesos and you never take you have a minimum balance of a hundred thousand at all times there's a huge difference you can make like five percent interest on your account but you're never if you drop below a hundred thousand pesos for two minutes then you're gonna get uh, you won't get that much money so yeah uh, anyway uh, okay, so uh, Heidi, number two here. Number mm -hmm. oh, an account that allows you to pay money in or take money out whenever you oh current account. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, obviously, Max, number three. A card used to buy things on credit. You have to pay money back each month. It's credit card. Indeed it is. Uh, invented by Satan himself. Uh, yeah. And uh, Heidi, number four. A card used to take money out of the uh, cash point. A cash card. There you go. Uh, Americans call them a debit card. Oh. Yeah. Uh, automatically debit your account and then uh, generally mm -hmm. savings account earn mm -hmm. higher interest or de okay. deposit accounts oh there you go maybe what Heidi what you're talking about is a deposit account uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kind of savings account where you never take your money out uh, that's it mm -hmm. there you go I I'm sorry I spaced that out duh uh, okay there you go. All right. Well, here you go. All right. Uh, in Britain, anyway, the normal account, again, is a current account. If you leave the bank, money in the bank for longer periods, you'll use a deposit account, a mm -hmm. savings account, or a high interest account. There you go. That's what I was talking about and you were talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. A current account is also called a checking account, or it used to be, anyway. Uh, in, a, in the United States, it's called a checking account. Okay, and, and actually, we finished up all, everything in this mm -hmm. lesson. So, and we are out of time. So, I will now go enjoy my lunch. Thank you very much, Max very and nice. Heidi. Have a nice day. See you Bye. after lunch. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. See you soon.